Wow! What's happening, everybody? Yes, what it do? What it do? Yes, We're doing it. <laughs> listen, I know. Listen, I know everybody's excited today. So I have something as a treat for each and every one of you today. That's right. We have a treat on Let's Talk with Stanley Doucette. Whoa, I, whoa, whoa. I am absolutely blown away by the success of this young man. On top of all of that, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to share some things about what he's doing and what he's going to be doing in the future. But before we get into all of that, let's let you know, let's let's talk for a second, family. Let's talk. How you been? What's been going on? How's the audience doing? How y'all doing? Where y'all been at? <laughs> y'all know I got to do all of these commercials. Listen, today's podcast is brought to you by Hot Shot Mall. That's right, the hotshotmall.com. If you've not been shopping on hotshotmall.com, you are missing a treat. You must go to hotshotmall.com go there select purchase you have everything in there from women's clothes to men's clothes to high-end fashion to high-end jewelry to low-end because you know some of y'all always looking for a bargain you know it's kind of yeah. i need to get a bargain yeah. so listen yeah. we have it all for you we have supplements we have hair ladies we have top quality eight nine and ten a hair for you I'm telling you, we have it all. Listen, just go to hotshotmall.com and you will understand exactly what it is that we're doing. Now, on top of that, guys, listen, I know a lot of you guys follow me. Share with your family, your friends, your relatives, your aunts, your uncles, even the nosy people. And mm -hmm. let them know to go to Let's Talk with Stanley Doucette.com. Subscribe, like, share, do what you do. To I'm you. It gonna make it happen every single day we're on all of the social media platforms from facebook to twitter to uh youtube our you oh, our you you got to look at our youtube channel um <laughs> listen we have an, an enormous amount of fun you will see all of the crazy faces i make but you have to be there and look at us on our uh, YouTube channel. We just launched it a few weeks, well, not more than a few weeks ago now, but we launched it and, and we're having some highly intelligent and incredible success. So listen, I want to introduce you guys to somebody that is very, very fun. He's a loving person. He does a lot of things for his community, his family. He's an empowering person. On top of that, he is about to graduate and take that next step into being a businessman. Listen, guys, I want to introduce to you one of my, my brothers in the fraternity. He's, he's great. He's articulate. He's special. He's doing his thing. And on top of that, we're going to talk about this new venture he's about to launch. And I'm going to let you talk about it. It's on a podcast, but I'm going to let you talk about it. So before I, we do anything else, let me introduce to some and present to others my brother, my friend, Chris Clemens. What do you do, Chris? Do I appreciate you, Doucette, for the introduction. I could not have gotten a better introduction than that. I am so excited and honored to be on this podcast with you. Let's talk with Stanley Doucette. This is cream of the crop, premium material, all of that. And I'm just very excited to be here, to be learning, to be open-minded, to give back a little of my wisdom, my foundation, and basically why my passions are aligning with this podcast. So I'm excited to get into it. I mean, you know how we do it. Oh, come on now. Good brother. Oh, six. Hey, oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> Listen, for, for, let me, let me just say this. Let me be, <clears throat> let me be professional <clears throat> for people that may not understand what that is. It's okay. <laughs> you need to ask somebody. They'll share with you what that really means. Um, let me shout out to all my people internationally, to, to Germany. Let me shout out all my people in Honduras. Let me shout out all my people in South America. Shout out all my people in Canada. And of course, right here in America, shout all of you guys out. So Chris, you've been doing some remarkable things. You have a lot of great things going on, brother. Uh, so first of all, for the audience, because I, I know you, but the audience don't know you. So tell the audience who you are, brother. Who am I? What's up, audience? Um, my name is Christopher Clements. I am a fourth year student majoring in digital marketing and business management with a minor in communication studies. Helen all the way, born at Gwinnett Medical in Lawrenceville, 
raised in Covington, Georgia for 19, 20 years. And yeah. then I transitioned and matriculated my way over here to the University of Georgia at the flagship university for the past four years. And I'm just really excited. I've been learning, I've been growing. I have my passion to speak and communicate and mentorship. So that's just a little tidbit about me scraping the tip of the iceberg. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me ask yes. you something. You, you mentioned UGA. Yes. What is it that made you choose UGA? Great question. There's three things that really made me choose UGA when I was a high school senior. I wanted to go to a school and an institution that one valued their academics and their intellectuals. I wanted to go to a school that I put all of my energy in that I invested in high school and I knew it wasn't an easy school that you could get into. I wanted wow. to go to somewhere that people knew that the GPA rigor was high and the SAT and the ACT. And when people ask me what school you go to and I say UGA, people say, oh my God, you must be smart. Yes, I am. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> That's one of the first reasons why I wanted to go there. Second, I know that I'm a social person. I wanted to go to a school where it was a great balance between the academic rigor and the social inclusivity. D1 national championships, go dogs, baby, come on. I see you, I see you, I, I see you. I wanted to go to a school where I could be involved. I wanted to go to a school where there was multiple opportunities inside my culture and outside of my culture where I could really learn and I could grow. And third, but not last, I wanted to go third, but not least, I wanted to go to a school that I knew after graduation and propelled me to a level of success, a level of professionalism and a level of network that I could really tap into a lot of great people, a lot of great mentors and friends and associates and family that I would learn along the way. And I'm so proud to say that I feel like I've been accomplishing all three of those. That's, that's excellent. I know for certain you have been accomplishing those things, but you know, just hats off because a lot of times you as a young black male, sometimes some of us get caught up into the wrong things, but you have stayed the course. Now, granted, for all of the old people out there, I know you guys are always saying like, you know, like y'all walk around like y'all are the professionals and y'all have never made a mistake in your life. Let me explain something to you. All of us make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Just FYI, I don't care if you're, you're Asian, I don't care if you're Hispanic, I don't care mm -hmm. if you're Black, White, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. All of us make mistakes. But this particular young man has continued to strive to continue to get better and better and better and better. We've seen the growth from, uh, if you will, day one up until now. So we're extremely proud of what he's doing. One of the reasons why I wanted to bring him on the podcast is because a lot of times we do things with... I would say older people, right? And it doesn't really quite bring in the younger audience. They don't really understand some of the things we talk about or do. But Chris, you have that crew and that younger audience. So what made you decide to kind of get into business and your major and all of that? So what is some of that stuff that decided? Because there are young people that's going to listen to this podcast and they want to know like, well, how did he do that? That's a great question. It's a couple of things that made me decide to get into my major and my podcast. So going first, I was influenced by my mom. My mom is really big in the business world. She shout out mom. Shout out mom for real. Shout out Tangela Gray. Wonderful. Um, She's really big in the business world. She really influenced me leadership wise, more yes. so than manager wise to do something to make decisions. Because if you don't make those decisions, somebody will. So that's she was right. the one that told me you can either be the decision maker or you could be the one that's following decisions. And don't get me wrong. We all have to follow decisions at times. You know what I'm that's saying? Right. But that's really what started me off. And then moving forward, what got me into my major, mm -hmm. I really knew that I wanted to be a part of something where I was operating something, where I was directing yeah. something, where I was making decisions. My major is digital marketing and business management. When I was in high school, I took a three-year pathway in marketing and it works with my brain, right? I'm a okay. creative individual. I'm someone that really can read the numbers and see how the numbers are telling a story. And I knew now, I knew an idea, but I didn't really know what it was. I knew now that instead of wanting to work for the system, I wanted to create a system. Yeah, shout, shout out to that. Say that again, because I think some people missed that part. Instead of working for the system for the rest of my life, I wanted to create a system that I was passionate 
about. And that's where that marketing side comes in, that promotion, those tactics, those strategies, and that management slash leadership side comes in, that leadership to how to actually operate and efficiently run a business. So I combine both of those things together with my minor in communication studies so I can articulate my thoughts. And I try to put those together post-graduation. That way I can prepare myself where I need to be. Nah, man, that's what this is. Quick note when you, you graduate this semester, right? May 13th, baby. Shout out to May 13th. <laughs> May 13th, baby. We out of here. <laughs> yeah, shout out to May 13th. We're going to make it happen. Listen, you dropped um, uh, an enormous amount of bombshells right there in a good way, right? So, to all the audience, not just the older individuals, not just young individuals, but you listen to the young men and young women that's coming up that's either a little bit younger than you or a little bit older than you, how did you begin to help? How can you begin to help them make some of the decisions about what they should be doing in their life? Do you have any suggestions for them? Of course I have some suggestions. If shout I'm out, shout us out then. Man, if I'm being 100% honest, there's so much that we can learn about in life in so many different things, but the biggest thing and it takes people time to realize this but once it clicks you're yeah. going to flourish and it really is being yourself mm. being honest being yeah. transparent if you yeah. don't know something say you don't know something because that person that you're scared to say that you didn't know something to at once upon a time they didn't know So instead of you trying to waste so much time and hours and weeks and months and years of trying to do it by yourself and carry this big old burden on your shoulders, it could be resolved like that. If you say, hey, Stanley Doucet, I don't know what I'm doing. I need help. I need a vision. I need a goal. So that's my advice, to be honest, to be you, because that's the only unique identifier in my personal opinion that we have. Anybody can learn these software programs. Anybody can learn this skill, but nobody can be you. Nobody has your unique thought process. That's what sets you apart. I I agree. I agree. So in that, let's let's get into this. How did you create your podcast? Talk to the talk to the family. How did you create your podcast? And what's the name of it? And how did you create it? Yeah, 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 yeah. How did I create my podcast? Well, my podcast name is Free Game. So what does that mean for the younger and the older generation? Free game is basically free knowledge. People are stingy. People don't like helping everybody at all times. Don't get it confused. Everybody's not willing to give back to the community, to the culture, and to the people. You know what I'm saying? So free knowledge is the same thing as saying free game. I'm giving this back to you not because I'm expecting something back, because I want to, because I genuinely want to see everyone succeed in life one way or another. It makes me happy when I see you accomplishing your passion. So I want to put myself on a platform so I can give the resources back. What I value, I value communication. I value, I value mentorship and I value transparency, right? Mm. I don't know every single thing. I am 21 years old, getting ready to turn 22. I never said that I knew every single thing. But I value getting to know things and being open minded. So that's how I started my podcast, having these back channel conversations with my friends and my family's like, dang, I wish I knew this or dang, I wish I knew that. Well, guess what? I'm going to try to create the system where you will have the knowledge that you can listen and we can have those ongoing conversations. So, you know, so there's no more excuses. It's here. The time yeah, is shout out to that. So in your free game. You know, we we always shouting out in free game. We had a conversation uh, this past few days ago. Uh, what well, Chris and I had a uh, it was an impeccable conversation. Mm-hmm. I would tell y'all what it was about, but y'all knows it, so I'm gonna say no. It's not your business. So, <laughs> but what but with that being said, Chris, we've had some great conversations, and and in those conversations, I want you to share, if you don't mind, share with the audience. I would love for you to share with the audience the part where the younger person finally gets it or it clicks and then they began to flourish. When did that happen for you and and what made you click or what do you think made you click and then you began to flourish? That's a great question. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) And the answer to that question is I have not 
always been as successful as I was. I have not just went from A to Z. When I was a high school senior or freshman, I did a lot in high school too. I came here freshman year thinking I was top shot and that I could do every single thing. And I got humbled very quickly. I was interviewing for things. I was like, I'm a great interview. I can do this. And then third, and I got that we regret to inform you email, the email that nobody likes to get. You know what I'm saying? I was in my room crying by myself like, dang. I'm not as good as and as successful as I was. And it's because I wasn't asking for help. I wasn't putting myself first and giving myself the pedestal of what I needed. So to answer your question, what is that click? You get tired of not being good. You get yeah. tired of not elevating. You get tired and, and you're still supporting your friends and family, but you get tired of not being a part of that table, not being a part of that round circle, not being a part of that crew that's eating. So eventually you put your fear, because if it's worth it, you put your fear to the side, you put your passion above it and you say, I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get to where I need to be. And it's a mental thing. I mentally decided I want to be great. Mm -hmm. I want to do whatever it's going to take within my constraints and my powers to be great. So one day I stood up, I put my pride and my ego to the side and I started asking those tough and those hard questions. And I realized when I did that, that I could have been doing that so many years ago and I wasted so wow. much time not doing so. That's, that's, that's remarkable, man. You know, one thing I heard that even a lot of adults <laughs> don't do is you made a decision. You, was, you didn't care about if it was going to hurt a little bit, hurt your pride, hurt your feelings. You didn't care about that. You decided to humble yourself and ask the experts in whatever those fields are to give you that, as you call it, free game. And when they started pouring into you, I've noticed the elevation in you and how you began to say, hey, you know what? I can do this or I can do that or I can make that happen. And even on your podcast, I can't wait to hit a podcast because I know just giving free game at your age and the wisdom that you have is going to be impeccable. With, with doing that, right, with doing that, who, who do you want to be some of your guests to shout out to give some of those free games away? Yeah. Who do I want to be some of my guests? I definitely want my close friend who I regard as a sister, Danielle Cato, to be one of my guests. She's very influential in the Black community and she's very influential overall. She's very opinionated and confident and she's strong-minded, but she can back up her opinion. What she says makes sense. She's intellectual, very intriguing. And then I also want my friendly fam group that we call ourselves the Bozos. Don't think about it too much because if you know from Bozos, <laughs> you can be like, that don't make no sense. It's an insider. <laughs> but the Bozos is a group of five of us. Me, Claudia Wooten, Maddie Polk, Kevin Wogu, and Tayo Akinsonia. I love them to death. We have so many different attributes and vagues. And I really want that to be an episode on true friendship and what that looks like, whether that's close or whether that's long. I want to give a shout out to Joshua Benefield with entrepreneurship. He's going crazy with his jab production. So it's so many different fields and networks and connections that I want to tap into. Um, the dating scene, the romantic scene, people are very scared to talk about that. It's a very touchy and a very delicate subject. Why though? Why is it so touchy? Because people are prideful. People are scared. People feel like at this age, I should know what I'm doing. I should know how I'm doing. I should know how to navigate that. So it's hard for people to say, I don't, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. bringing those people on here on free game on let's talk with Doucette and saying, this is what it is. People can still get that knowledge and that, 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 that connection, that powerfulness. Man, you know what? You just made me think of something. We go, let's do a, let's do a podcast um, together. Let's do a podcast. We bring some people on and we're just going to do it on relationships, college relationships. Yeah, we're we not going to do it on, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it on college relationships. Let's get into it. And and, and we're going to really get into the, as you would say, we're going to get in the real game. We're going to talk about this The thing real cool. game of what it is and what it ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I, yeah, 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 we, we I ain't going to get into it right now. Right. But yeah, that's, yeah, we're going to do that one. We're going to grab some people and make I'm that happen. I'm ready for that one. That's going to so be So listen, good. this is what I want to do. Uh, because you're my brother, I want to do. You, I want to give you a couple minutes. I'm going to give you the platform for a couple of minutes to share about free game and your thoughts and your inspiration and your power behind it. Some of the game that you want to give to whether it's young adults, senior adults, uh, 
people that's, you know, next to almost crazy adults or whatever, but just share some things with the audience that you think that will be beneficial and powerful for them. Thank you for that. So with the audience, what I know will be beneficial and powerful to them, going back again, rerunning, is being honest, being intentional. Free game is my baby. Free game is me in an audio form. Free game is a journey of my life, of being transparent, of what I learned, of what I still don't know, of connecting with people and asking people for that knowledge so I can elevate even more. Free game is that opportunity for it to be a true, not just saying because of politics. I don't even like politics, but for it to be a right. true safe space. Yeah. Um, what it is, what it is, and bouncing those ideas off of each other. Some of the things that I really want to talk about is your mental health, that mental advocacy, things that people don't really see, but it affects the way you move. It's affecting you and you don't even know that it's affecting you. And if you start making the right decisions or decisions for you, you will feel lighter like a feather. Your spiritual health, your academic health, your financial circumstances. Man, I could talk about credit karma and credit reports and then all day I'm about to be in the 850 club with Bill Gates and all of them and Jeff Bezos. But I say all of that to say, at the end of my podcast, I always leave the podcast off with the same quote. I have the same quote tatted on my chest and it says, it means an honest devotion, not anticipation of personal gain. And what that means broken down is you're doing something because you want to do something. You're not looking to gain anything from it. If you, if you do this, you would be willing to do it for free. Why? Because it burns your heart. It burns your passion. It's what keeps yeah. you going. Say that quote again, because I think the audience need to write that down. They do. It means an honest devotion, not anticipation of personal gain. That's something serious. That means, yeah. oh, I'm not doing this because, oh, I see I can make money. You're not in it for what you need to be in it for. You need to be in it because it is something that you recognize in your mind and your heart that I love this. That can't nobody take this from me. Right. You know, when you said that, you know what came to my mind? Please tell me. Beyonce. Mm. Let, me, let me tell you why I say that. Why? Um, <clears throat> I forgot the interview or what she was doing. Talking about Beyonce. She was doing something. Uh, it it could have been preparing for, for Coachella. I don't remember which one, right? And she said for three days, she forgot to eat. Think about that. For three days, she forgot to fuel her body with food. Hours. She forgot to eat. And that makes me go back to your quote because she wasn't doing it for, let me go get some coins. She right. was doing it because of the passion and the love and the vibrant vigor that she had moving towards it, right? And how she wanted to please the audience and, and be the true entertainer that she is. So when you said that quote, that immediately jumped to me. The second part of that, I'm gonna just stay on Beyonce. There's a whole bunch of people now that's coming to my mind, but let me also say this other piece on Beyonce. When she did Coachella, she just had had our child, but she was saying she's gonna get into a specific attire before she gets to Coachella, and she did that and she made that happen. What you're saying, Chris, and what you have been living your life at, and has you been growing for you, and there's other young adults that's doing the exact same thing is you're no longer looking for it to just be about a dollar. You want to make the money, but you got a passion to do certain things within your life that's driving and fueling you. If more people in the world would have that love, drive, and passion, the world would be a much better place. So hats off to you. Hats off to your crew. You. Uh, what do you guys call yourselves again? The Bozos. The Bozos. Shout out to the Bozos and all the individuals that's attached to you because what you are doing is you're setting the young people on fire. Listen, when Martin Luther King came along, he was not 70. Even though people may want to make it seem like he was old this and no, 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 no. He was not that old and he changed the world. I could give you some other people, but just understand. So my brother, I wanted you to come on the podcast today to share with you, to share with you on this platform to let you know, you know, the brothers love you. And I wanted to make sure that you have the opportunity to also share your passion and your vision and your wisdom 
with all of the audience around the world. We in 170 plus countries. So now today, starting today, you have literally been in, introduced to the international scene, whether they're in Germany or whether they're in um, London, England, whether they're in South America or South France, it doesn't matter. You have now been introduced to the world. So part of our podcast is to empower individuals in the greatest uh, fashion and known to man. And that is the edifying uplift and to empower them to allow them to be their greatest self. So again, brother, what you're doing, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this platform. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my wisdom, my knowledge, my power, my passion, the things that drive me to be successful, the things that drive me to keep going, to be curious, to be courageous, all of that. I couldn't do it without you. And I feel like nothing ever happens by coincidence. Us getting on our phone call and having that conversation and talking and you just checking in on me and saying, what you been doing? Yeah, yeah. And us talking about the podcast, like none of this happens sporadically or by chance. Like this was right. meant to be. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I'm really just thankful. I'm blessed. I'm thankful for you and very appreciative all around. Oh, no, I appreciate you. So we closing out, man. Listen, I all of my guests come on, they shout out my people from New Orleans. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it first. Right. And then you got to do it behind me, all right? Oh, you know I got you. You got me? You know I got you. All right, so we're going to go ahead on and get it in. You ready? I'm ready. Wow! Wow! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to all my people in New Orleans and, and Shout out everywhere. Nola. Shout out Nola. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So listen, Chris, I appreciate you, brother. Any last words on how the audience can get in contact with you, how they can get to your podcast, all of those good things before we close out? Thank you for saying that. So y'all can definitely get to my podcast. I have an entrepreneurship page slash podcast page. And the name of the page is on Instagram. It's called underscore powered by paradox that's underscore powered by paradox paradox is spelled p-a-r-a-d-o-x please follow the page i'm looking forward to having those conversations that communication if you want to hear a specific episode or topic that we can both talk and bounce ideas off of let's get to it let's get to it yes sir congratulations man on all of your success proud of you proud of you proud of you thank you so much brother i appreciate yes sir so we closing off family so again if you have not understood who our sponsor is it's hotshot mall go to hotshotmall.com go shopping get your gear get your stuff from tennis shoes to jewelry to women's clothes to men's clothes we have it all there just go ahead on and make that happen go to hotshot mall Dot com. Appreciate Hot Shot Mall for the sponsorship package. Thank you so much. Listen, if you are someone there and you would like to be on our podcast or you would like to be on the free game podcast, hit me up directly. Go to Let's Talk with Stanley D at gmail.com. That's L E T S T A L K W I T H S T A N L E Y D as in David at gmail.com. Hit me up, share you would like to be on the podcast. And, and my assistant will get back at you. Or if you just have some topics you would like to hear, send us an email as well. We'll make sure that happens. If you want to get in touch with Chris and you can remember how to spell paradox or you couldn't remember his name, just shoot me an email. I promise you, I'll get you to Chris and y'all can make those things happen. Again, I appreciate you. Again, go and follow me on all of the social media websites. Go to the YouTube channel. I make some r- ridiculous faces sometimes. It's just me being me. But y'all go, come shout us out. Do what we do. So we on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We even on LinkedIn, guys. Mm. YouTube channel. We doing oh, yeah. our thing in a big, big way. Shout out to everybody all around the world. All my people, my friends. I love y'all. But we about to roll on out of here. If y'all haven't heard my intro and outro music, listen. Just keep rewinding it and you will see what I'm talking about. So let's go on and get out of here. Chris, I appreciate you, brother. And we're going to roll on out of here. Let's go on and take it back to the street. Let's go. See y'all next week. Shout out. Peace. Peace.